Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Anybody smell something stinky? All I can smell is the heat. Hmm, you mean like a rotten cauliflower? Yeah, just like that. I smell it now, but I think it's a pile of dirty, wet socks. Mm -hmm. You're both wrong. It's Sam. Come on, Vic. That's a low blow. Of course it's not. <laughs> Hey, Washington. Trying to drink this milk, but it's kind of chunky. It's your smell, Sam. It's curdled the milk. Oh, well, it is a hot day. And bats are very boring. Sam, when was the last time you had one? Uh, let's see. One, two... What month is it? What? No wonder you smell. Yeah, I smell great. Unique. <laughs> you don't smell great. You smell gross. Can't you smell your stink? No, that is the uh, uh skunk. I know you're not blaming me for that stench, yo. But you want some of my stink? Just say so. Uh, we're fine. You're very scary, though. Impressive. Well, the skunk's gone, but the stink is not. Love me, love my smell. This is gonna be a long summer. Would you like a bacon sandwich, dear, or bacon between two pieces of bread? I think I'd prefer a piece of bacon with bread on each side. <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell, honey? It's certainly not bacon. It smells almost boarish. Like a wild boar, don't you think? Yes, it's just like wild boar. But how could that be? <gasps> Hear that? The elves are about to discover our secret, thanks to Sam Stink. They won't smell it if we secretly stick branches up their nostrils. True, but I think they might notice branches up their nostrils. Well, until we find the source, we just need... Air, air freshener. freshener! And we need some boar freshener. Good luck finding that at the store. If you'll excuse me, I need to go breathe. We may not be able to buy boar freshener, but we can make a super crazy smell to disguise Sam's stink. We'll start with bacon grease. Ha ha! Who can resist that? Add some musky aftershave. A little garlic. A dash of toothpaste. A slice of shag carpet. No! A roll of toilet paper. No! A trumpet. Fine. Oh, good. I love the smell of music. The moment of truth. <laughs> That is beyond my wildest expectations. <laughs> yeah? Oh, so you like my smell now, huh? I knew you'd learn to love my natural aroma. Everyone does. Right. That's exactly it. I love your natural wild boar smell. Huh? What is that? It's, it's... It's my natural smell. Leave me alone if you don't like it. But, but I love it. I love you. Where could 
could it have come from? <laughs> <sighs> oh, Sam, it's not you, is it? He smells... He smells... So delightful! delightful. <sighs> have a snack, you charming devil. And you can take our bed tonight. We'll sleep in the garden. Coast is clear. A bacon raid can commence. Hello, ladies. Maybe it's got a bunch before we. Kiss you from head to toe. You look all tense. Let me massage these knots. You're so cool. Yes, I do. Oh, oh, no! Hurry up! We have to go to his place right now! Come on! <sighs> Sam's steak is sorted out and I can finally chillax. Sam is in the building, fans! Oh, oh, yeah! <laughs> Eugenie! Susie! What's wrong with you? They love me and my awesome smell. Oh, no! My super crazy boar freshener, it's too powerful! Here, girls, it's me. It's Scratch and Sniff. Ah. <laughs> ah. Sam, I need to talk to you. And I need to talk to you, Washington. Listen, I decided to ditch the disguise. What? What are you saying? The elves will know you're a boar. Big deal. They love the boar smell, they'll love the boar. <laughs> Sam, what everyone loves isn't your smell. They love this. You're just jealous of my natural... Hmm? Whoa, that stuff does smell good. It's aftershave and bacon grease with a few secret spices. We mixed it up, didn't we, girls? But I thought it was me that everyone liked. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? That stuff's powerful. Ah! Sam, you smell fantastic. <laughs> Come back to our place, Sam. You can stay forever. <laughs> Time for our wedding dance dreamboat. <laughs> yeah, smelling so incredible is a lot of pressure. <laughs> Phew, that's better. A bit of peace and quiet. It's that fat cat that yeah. smells so good. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, cat, come over. Good kitty. No, no. The whole city loves me much too much! Please, Washington, stop me from smelling so sweet! I'll do anything! Even a boring bath? <laughs> I'm ready. Bathe me. <laughs> that ought to do it. You sure? <laughs> okay. Maybe you need a dry clean. That ought to do it. You sure? Oh! Ah! I'm never gonna get this stuff off me. I'll be hunted forever. There must be a way. Okay, we got rid of your stick by overpowering it with something stronger. Hurry up, Washington! I can't feel my eyes! So we're going to need to overpower that with something even stronger! Super stronger! There's nothing stronger than this delicious aroma! There's one possible thing, but it won't be pretty! Who cares about pretty? Okay. I'll always love him. Love who? 
I don't remember. There she is. There she is? Just wait. Is that smell you? You like that? Uh-huh. That is sweet. <laughs> I like your smell, too. Very funny. He's serious. You splash his back, we'll splash yours. Now you're just messing with me. No, no, we... Yeah, we are. You're a stinky, stinky skunk. Why, you lousy... Gross! <laughs> Thanks. You are one weird cat. Just in case you're not messing. So how do I smell? <laughs> Tomatoes, the best cure for skunk stink. Sorry, Sam. Sorry? I love a good tomato bath. So, from now on, you can call me Sam Marinara. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I've gotten really good at this. <laughs> Get Benny! He's almost here! You're asking for trouble. Stupid male! Stupid sunshine! Come to Papa. <laughs> here! Arr, 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 arr. Very funny, dog. You got a real weird bark, you know that? Hey, dog! Here's something to make some noise about. It's a letter from the vet. Ha <laughs> ha! Huh? Wait, did he say letter from the vet? Yep, it's a letter from the vet, all right. See, that's his necklace. And a letter from the vet is never. Yeah. Maybe it's time for shots! Or maybe our ears are too long. Maybe he wants to cut them off. Yeah. Or maybe he just figured out who we are. Yeah. Huh? No! no. Uh. Cool. From my collection. What did you do that for? What if they were expecting that letter? They'll blame the mailman. The post office never makes a mistake. Everybody knows that. Oh, no, it was us. I mean, you. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Calm down, everybody, because I got it all worked out. See, this is a good thing. You heard me, a good thing. We replaced the letter in Sam's stomach with a brand new one, a better one, a letter that will say whatever we want. We'll pretend it's from the vet, and we'll say that we're in perfect health and that he never needs to see us again. Yay! <laughs> I'm all for no more vet visits, but how are you going to write a letter? How are you going to write, period? Hmm. Vic, I think you're forgetting I'm a super slick fox. I mean, if I can manage this... I can figure out how to write. Yeah, how hard can writing be? Go for it. But so you know, it's got to be on the vet's special paper. The one that has his little necklace on it. Uh-oh, really? Yep, otherwise, they'll know it's a fake. 
No biggie. Where do we get some? In his office. Mm. Uh? <laughs> Great. Point the way. It's at the corner by the coffee shop. Got it. Sam, you're coming with me. Me? To the vet? I don't want to run into the vet. Like I do, but someone <laughs> ate the letter. I think you guys should all go. Safety in numbers, right? Well, I guess you're right. Let's go. Ah, that little adventure should take all day. Ah. Now what? How do we get in? We came all the way and we can't even get into the building. Wait. I think I see a solution to our problem. Quick, act normal. <laughs> I said normal like animal pets. <laughs> Come on, on Modi. It'll be fine. You don't need all those teeth anymore. <laughs> We each have to pick one human to walk inside with, and don't forget what you have to do once you're there. Let's go! <laughs> you. <laughs> Hello, Baldy. Uh, come in and let's replace those disgusting old teeth of yours. Look at my dog, John. All new teeth. No pain. He looks like a puppy again. You're a big kitty. Look at that big nose of yours. <laughs> and your teeth, they stick out. Weird. Where on earth am I going to find this? Look, big kitty. This is my hamster, Oscar. Oscar, say hi to big kitty. Hello. Ah! Oh, Oscar, he always faints. <laughs> Mio! Mio! Here we have our top model. These would make old Moldy look like a movie star. Think about it. I'll grab the forms for you to sign. Come on, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna make you look good and young again. Hi there, nice little rabbit. What's going on? What's all the noise back there? Why is he barking? Hmm. Oh, Oscar. Vet papers and vet envelopes must be worth a fortune, so he would hide them. I must think like a vet. Where would I, a vet, hide them? Nurse? That bone wasn't enough. I need some pills to calm him. They're in your office, Doctor. Oh, yes, of course. I almost forgot. Yeah. 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 This cat needs to have these two teeth out as soon as possible. They're probably infected. Oh, that fur, it's so wet and sticky. Whose pet is this? Who brought a sick animal in here? <sighs> of course, in my vet desk. Aha! 
Dated right now. Ah! 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 We gotta save Sam. Wait! Wait! Uh, yuck! He's sicker than I thought. But stop moving like that. Pets are in perfect health. And I, their vet, do not need to see them ever again. Yay, Washington! Thank you, thank you. What can I say? I'm a natural. Can we add and give them plenty of snacks? Easy. And give them plenty of snacks. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Sign the vet. Yay, Yay Washington! What's the letter about, honey? I... Uh... <laughs> I'm not really sure. See for yourself. What on earth? This handwriting is terrible, even for a doctor. <laughs> okay, so I need to practice. I'm gonna call the vet to see what's going on. Cheap trick, Mush! And of course, we appreciate you taking the time to write, Doctor, but perhaps you could tell me what you wrote? Oh, yes, the letter. I ran into the mailman last week. He told me that Washington has a rather strange bark. Oh, dear! Maybe we should bring him in. Why don't you? I'm offering 50% off all diagnoses all by the law. Uh, oh! <laughs> Finally, a perfect morning. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Sounds like you really don't want her in here. I don't. Okay, well, if that's how you feel. I'll go get her. Ew. It's cold out here. 
Ooh. Hey, guys. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we bought winter sweaters in a nick of time. <laughs> Who wants a nice hot cup of herbal tea? I do. Wait, do you wait? This is Eugenie, Susie, and Sam. And of course, you know me, Washington, the guy who saved your life. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> She's so cute! Another girl in the house! <laughs> girl power! Yeah. Here's the deal. She can stay with us until it warms up a bit. Yes! It'll be like having her very own pet. She's a pet pet. Thanks for saving her, Wash. What can I say? Sometimes saving the day just feels right, you know? This definitely feels right. Come on, Moth. We'll show you around. And last but not least, the watering point. <laughs> Enough for today. Last one on the couch is called Prickly Pear. She's so cute. Yeah! <laughs> what are you doing? I can't help it. It's every cat's primal urge to capture that moth. So that's why you didn't want her in here. If only you could see the moth for the great addition she really is. Nick, maybe if you got to know the moth, you'd see she's really sweet. Trust me, that moth is the opposite of sweet. Come on, Vic. Remember, you once felt the same way about us. I still do. Huh? Susie and Eugenie, stay on Victoria. Don't let her get our new friend. Hi, Captain. Captain. Is it just me, or is this the nicest scarf ever? <laughs> Huh? Oh, yes. There are even holes for ventilation. <laughs> On you, everything looks super. Well, that sweet remark just won you another cup oh. of ylang ylang. That's what moths do. They eat wool. And you know what else they do? They never leave. This isn't good. Good luck with the new bestie, Captain Idiot. Look, it's going to be okay. We can't get angry at the moth for not knowing the rules of living indoors. I mean, there was a time when we didn't know how to act inside a house either. I still don't understand why we don't all use the toilet. You see, moth, we had to learn to hide our natural instincts so we could live inside this nice house. It's true. I'm not really a cat. I'm a boar. I was born to roll in mud. But the one thing that separates cats from boar is cats don't like to roll in mud. Really? That's the one thing that separates us? That and your furball problem. Anyway, I still need to roll around in something, so now I use raisins. It pretty much feels the same. And now when I'm done, no mess. I just eat the evidence. Either way, I win. Here's my story. Bunnies love carrots. I hate carrots. So I just pretend to like them, and then I bury them in the backyard. And no one knows a thing. I'm a bird pretending to be a bird. Well, I think we've explained to the moth how to get along in the house. Right, moth? Ah! Ah! Okay, okay, maybe we're just going about this wrong. If we can't get her to stop eating... <laughs> ole, ole, moth! Eat up, little friend. Ah! Problem solved. <laughs> Man, I thought you'd eat anything. Hmm? I tried, but I choked on the yarn. <laughs> wow, for a tiny creature, she can really put it away. Mm-hmm. I'll go find more moth food as soon as I get my own breakfast. Most important meal huh? of the day. Sam, stop! Look at yourself! Ah! What if the living stones see Sam? We're gonna get kicked out of the house for sure! <laughs> Everyone 
stop panicking. Sam, until I figure something out, no leaving the room. The elves can't see you, even if it means no breakfast. What? I don't know what to say, Moth. I trusted you. <gasps> Moth! No! You couldn't listen to me. Moths are extremely annoying little bugs. They're not indoor pets. They're indoor nightmares. And it's just going to get worse. <laughs> worse than no breakfast? I'm so hungry. <sighs> Sammy? Is that you, boy? Oh. Oops! You need some private time. I'll leave you to it. If I were a moth, where would I hide? Aha! Meow! <laughs> She's not here. But she was. Where to? What is she saying? May I help you pack? Idea. What if we unscrew every light in the house so the living stones won't be able to see me? I'll only come out at night when it's dark. They'll call me Night Cat. What? That idea? We can't stay here. You little help here. Look, you tried, we tried, but you're never gonna make it as an indoor pet. You just act too nuts. You think I like acting like this? Oh, you can talk? No one ever likes a moth. No one ever tries to see what's inside. Everyone only focuses on the back. Well, you do eat people's clothes and stuff. I can't help it. You have no idea what it's like not to want to be who you are. Hmm. I think we know a little something about not wanting to be who we are. I mean, I'm a fox pretending to be a dog. Lucky you. i do anything to be something else. I have an idea. How about I do what I do, and you do what you do? Hmm? <laughs> 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 yeah! It's perfect! My behind is extra fuzzy! Well done, Moth! Your turn. <laughs> You're like a princess. <laughs> Not gonna lie, <laughs> she looks pretty good. So, are you ready to head out and see the world, Moth? I'm ready. Thanks, guys. You really are the best. <laughs> ah. hmm. Don't even think about it. Fine, just get it over with. Yeah! I'm gonna miss her. Are you kidding me? This place was crazy when she was here. Just admit it, you like that moth. Please, I only let it kiss me so it would go away. I think I helped you get over your issues with moths. You're welcome. Whatever. Can we please go back to our normal life? And by that, I mean where the only thing driving me crazy is you. Fine. Wild ones, let us resume our mellow, quiet life. Everyone relax. <laughs> Where's the green bath mat? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. 
want to stay here? We'll have to keep our secret. <laughs> I'm going to get you! The monster! He's after us! And when I do... When I do, I will, I will, mm, <laughs> cook you on my monster barbecue and eat you all up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 care of that. Now then, where did my dream leave off? Ah! Uh, this is not good. Ah! Come on, snap out of it. Hey! Look guys, don't worry about a thing. I'll take all the blame. Don't even try to talk me out of it. I simply insist. No, no. I'm telling you I can handle it. Really. My very first sculpture in just one class. Can you believe it? Uh, no, I really can't. I'll just set it here to dry. It really reflects my inner feelings about the basic human condition. Who knew there was an artist inside of me just waiting to blossom? Uh, I love it, honey. It's really like, like, uh, like art. <laughs> Washington, did you do this? Face. He didn't mean to break it. You know how clumsy dogs are. You're right. My grandmother didn't even like that vase very much. And I didn't really like my grandmother. Me neither. Well, I think Washington has learned his lesson. Right, Washington? He's really sad. Oh. 
Aw, okay, Walsh. We should be going. Our dinner reservations are for seven. What time is it now? Uh, 6.59 and 18 seconds. <laughs> yeah! Thanks for taking the blame, Washington. There's no way I could handle so much shaming. Whoa, you're a master. Let me try. I can't do it. I can't do that pain face you do. Well, I hope this is a lesson learned. One, I'm an excellent actor, and two, you guys really <laughs> should <don't... laughs> Hey, did you not hear what I just said? I will not cover for you again. You've got nothing to worry about, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! If anything happens to this thing, the Living Stones will blame me for it! And my sad face trick will only work once! <laughs> Just smash it already so I can get back to my beauty sleep. <laughs> That's enough! Hey, listen to me! Come on, <laughs> hey! What? That's not enough. I need them to be quiet once and for all. <laughs> what? How? How did that happen? Huh? What? What happened? Something broke? Oh, no. <laughs> What's for Washington? They're going to think he did it. Oh, Ray, why? Because they already took the blame for us last time with the phase. They're going to think he did this too. <laughs> we'll be sent back to the forest. <laughs> we have to fix this. All right, I think I remember what it looked like. Let me try this. <laughs> well, well, well. Not bad. Not bad at all, if I may say so. Mrs. L's statue, the one she brought in. It looked just like that. The one she loves so much? <clears throat> yeah, that one. The one she's so proud of? The one that makes her so happy? Yes, yes. No? It didn't look like that. At all. You're right. Who am I kidding? This looks like it was put together in a blender. I think I can fix this. That's worse. It looks like nothing at all. Let me try. It's my turn. Yeah. Not bad, huh? I like the way it looks as though he's playing in a sandbox. Longing for the days of his youth. Wait, what are we doing? What about the statue? Oh no, they're back! Ah! Wait! Everybody, calm down! Panic is not the answer! Panic is not! 
never the answer! <laughs> well, thanks, guys. Looks like I'm in really big trouble. Not a second to lose! Right here! Okay, uh, some wings? Uh, no head? A bit like this? <gasps> It almost looks like they're worshipping it. <laughs> wow! It looks even better than I remember. Huh? Yay! <laughs> Still here? I thought I'd broken it. <sighs> Oops. Oh, Victoria! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Silence. Now and then a fox needs a little solo time. Rush me uh. up! Oh, yay! Group walk. Wash, do we have a dog door or a cat flap? Uh, well, technically. And why are there bird doors? Because generally people don't like their pet birds going out. <laughs> hey, look at that. It's just Alvarez digging. I didn't know dogs dug. You didn't? You didn't either. Sure you did. Oh, fine. Well, guess who else is great at digging? You. Me! Hello, I'm a fox. We dig from diapers. So I can spend the afternoon doing something I love and impressing the elves with some very convincing canine behavior. Hmm. I thought we were going to watch the Adventure Brothers Marathon Season 1. Sorry, pal. Opportunity knocks. We'll help, Wash. Your paws and claws are too little to dig anything important. Actually, they can help. How about you two go find me a nice big bone to bury? Something that'll make a statement. Copy that. Great. Oh. Thanks a lot. Oh, Sam, you think I want to spend the whole day working? Playing the role of a great dog takes work, you know? Fine. I'll be inside. Sitting on the couch and watching the show. Like a great cat. <gasps> Any old dog can make a hole. Way to the living stones, see this! Watch you, kid! The marathon is starting! Let's kid! Be in soon, buddy! <laughs> this is great! Finally, my own den, where I can relax and be a fox. But I gotta make it my own. My man cave. Not bad, but the iced tea needs ice cubes. Fluff, Washington's doing something weird. What's new? Washington! Oh, hey, Sam. Oh, hey, Sam. What is up with you? You said you were coming in soon. Sorry, but Mr. and Mrs. L never showed up, and I ended up digging more than I expected. I dug a fox den. What? Let me see. I can't. It's my man cave uh, for thinking about life and stuff. What? All alone? 
Without me? Sammy, you're my best pal. I just need a private place to relax. Stay in touch with my fox side. Sure, I get it. Later, too. <sighs> I'm his everything. Finally, a safe place to hang my photos. <sighs> but it still needs a certain something. What's he doing in that hole? Why does he just keep burying stuff and not covering it? Yeah, he's kind of interesting. Wait, you think Washington is interesting? No, what? Ugh, of course not. Eh? Uh. <laughs> Should have done this months ago. Uh. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Meow. What do you want? What are you doing down there? I... Lost something? You're acting weird. Yeah. Just what are you up to? Washington? Digging? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh you dug a great big hole. Oh, wow. It's a tunnel. Very impressive. <laughs> but very, very bad, bad dog. We're very disappointed. Time for a timeout. I hope you think about your behavior, mister. Sam! Hmm? Sam! Come on, help! Ken, I'm at a quick commercial break. Anyway, I wouldn't want to interfere with you alone time. Me. Yes, let's go. No! My stuff! My fox photos! <laughs> what did you stop, Fluff? Let's go! We're stuck, dummy. We're too fat to fit. But you're below me. Shut up! Push! No! This was a dumb idea, Nugget! I know, Fluff. I forgive you. We found an awesome bone wash! Okay, great! I'll leave it right here for you, Wash! Eugenie, Susie, come here, girls. Did you hear that? Must be the echo. Echo who? Huh? <laughs> hey! I have to get out of here. Fluffy may be discovering the truth about us this very minute. What? They went down the hole. If they find my fox den, we're finished. I pasted up a bunch of our old pictures down there. Uh, you did? You put up pictures of us? Together? Yeah, of course. I thought you wanted to get away from me. No, jeez. I just wanted a little alone time. Can a guy get a little alone time? Best friendship reinstated. Yeah. <gasps> But we gotta dig! Lucky, lucky. It is you! Are you snooping? Shh. Of course you're not, because there's nothing to snoop! But don't touch anything! We're coming! Yourself. No! I'm my kittens! 
are missing. You've got to find them. Sam, get the girls and bring them back you know where. I need help. <laughs> I have something to tell you. I ate that can of tuna you were saving. Nugget, I stole that can of tuna from Victoria, but it was still mine. <laughs> okay guys, time for action. We need to get the girls before they get to my place. Everybody dig, now! I just need a little break. This place doesn't seem so safe anymore. Hello, girls. <laughs> you're stuck. I mean, you're stuck. Help. No. First things first. What were you snooping around for? To get you in trouble. We fell in. Just get us out of here, please. Oh, please watch out. <laughs> okay, guys. Get up. No time to sleep. Fluffy, nugget. So, promise you'll never come near my man cave again. Never. Let's move out. Save the cats! That's why he was digging. Oh, Washington! We owe you a big apology, boy! Oh, thank you, Bannington. Waddington, whatever your name is. In the form of a sandwich! Here it is. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Included in your training kit, this beautiful dog whistle that only dogs can hear. <laughs> Guaranteed to make your dog sit up and pay attention. That's amazing. I need one for my wash. Huh, Wash? What do you think? Psst. Wash, do the dog. <laughs> Washington. Another wasted nap. Thank you, Washington. Welcome back to the news, everyone, and for our final story of the evening. Tonight is a very special night for all you stargazers out there. At 9.46 p.m., a special full moon, the one astronomers are calling the Red Fox Moon because of its brilliant red glow. <laughs> It happens only once every 50 years, and it's going to be a major event. Uh, beware the were-fox. Enjoy the red fox moon, everyone. Were-fox? What does that even mean? Oh, boy. Let's have a red fox moon party. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 I'm going to get the moon food. 
Here comes the moon fire! Here comes the moon food! I'm gonna get some great shots of the moon for my website! The website that only I follow? <laughs> Can you believe it, Wash? We're gonna see a red... Hoo! Moon tonight! Hope we don't see any were foxes. <laughs> were fox? Can someone please explain? Oh yeah, you've never heard of a were fox? It's like a werewolf, except it's not as cute. Huh. Soon, Washington, you'll turn into an ugly, howling, drooling, biting, scratching, uncontrollable wild beast. <laughs> Come on, guys. You don't actually believe that. There's no such thing as a... Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what timing. I can't believe my luck. See? It's happening already. And the moon isn't even really red yet. Hope everyone is having a good time tonight waiting for the red moon. Yes! Good. Now, does everyone have their sausages on the grill? Ooh, come on! <gasps> Let's get the sausages. What do you say? We'll be right back! Sausages! <laughs> you gonna watch me like that all night? No. Maybe, yes. <sighs> Sam, listen to me. Nothing is gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sam. You know me. We grew up together. We're like brothers. <laughs> You're drooling. <laughs> A little bit too salty. <sighs> huh? <laughs> okay. Drooling check. Now, scratchy time. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, party people. We're only a short bit away from the big event. Let's keep spinning those boom tubes. Where foxes are scary. Sam, enough! I am not going to turn into some wild, scary, biting, and scratching beast! Come on! Seriously! I told you everything is fine! Nothing is going to happen! It's happening! Itchy, scratching beast! No, 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 Sam. Nothing is happening. I was just suddenly itchy. Let the howling begin. Ow! <laughs> Good evening, ma'am. And cool outfit, by the way. You like to bark? You're gonna scream. Washington? <laughs> Looks like someone here is getting in touch with their inner werefox, huh, boy? <laughs> oh, my friends can't be wrong. We're drawing even closer to the Red Fox Moon Party, people. It's not long now. Oh. Oh. From where we are, the is turning more and more red every second. <laughs> 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 
Just look at yourself. You're a crazy, twitching mess. It's happening, Vic. I'm trying not to. But I can't. Vic, you gotta hide me and keep me away from everyone before I turn. Oh, yes. Yes, we have to hide it's you. almost that time. Oh, boy, I can't wait. Hey. Where's Washington? We can't do this without man's best friend. Too late. Come here, buddy. <laughs> ah! Ah! Come on. You don't want to miss it. Oops. Take Sorry, away Vic. From the red box moon, everyone. Ten. Sorry again. Eight, seven, <laughs> six, <laughs> five. Hide your cat. Wait, what? Hide your coming. cat? That means it's web <laughs> time. Three. And in our final story of the night, we've got some interesting pictures from a Red Fox moon party last night, where a real-life Werefox was spotted. Check these out. Those are my pictures on TV! <laughs> that's my hubby! <laughs> I don't know. Something tells me that that's a dog in a very good costume. Are they saying I'm an idiot? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Not really. No, our first date. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry to disturb. We were just admiring your mangy fur. How do you do, 
do it? A special shampoo? Or maybe an ugly brush? <laughs> 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 No reason to panic. I know. All we have to do is order new costumes. Yeah? What? How? On the magic screen with all the little buttons. The elves order stuff on it all the time. You mean a computer? Yeah, that's what I said. So, who's the expert, huh? Now, all we have to do is order. Error. Please try again. <laughs> error. 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 Thank you, Mr. Ah. Stone. Order complete. Ah. Please await processing. You see? Told you I'm an expert. The computer even knew who I am. <sighs> right. You just got lucky. Your order will be delivered in... Five, four, three, two, one. It's here! Hey! Take care of this, would you, Vic? Watch where you... <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll just go ahead and take care of these. We... we messed up the order. I've never seen anything like this in the forest. They're awesome! We do look pretty cool, don't we? You sure this doesn't make me look too fat? Yeah. Hey, what kind of animals are you anyway? The wild. Uh, what if they're wild animals? <laughs> Ridiculous. Just think about it. If these were wild animals, we would have known them in the forest. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Mr. Computer Expert messed up his order. Ha! <laughs> I can reorder the right ones in five seconds. No problemo. Hey guys, we're home. Quick, we gotta put the old costumes back on. Where are they? Vic? You said take care of them, so I took care of them. They're in the trash. What? Oh yeah, that was so much fun, wasn't it? Vic, you gotta get them back. From the dumpster? Vic, please! There's no way I'm going to dirty my fur twice in the same day. If washed... <laughs> Where are the others? Don't worry, honey. You know them. They can't be far. You two stay here, okay? Sam and I are going to get our costumes. Struck. <laughs> What's going on? It seems like everyone's scared of us. Of us? Do I really look scary in this thing? Scary? Nah, more like ridiculous. <sighs> Discover Stash Paste's new product by Criminus Lab. With Stash Paste by Criminus Lab, forget about your old life. The new one will be hairy and fairy. Wow, that looks amazing. I absolutely <laughs> need one. Ooh, a documentary on exotic animals living in far off lands? I'm in. Did you see that? Wash the lion. Shh, look. These far flung corners of the globe are inhabited by strange animals. This nocturnal mammal who lives in the savannas of Africa it's never me. Yikes! How before. ugly is that thing? I can't even look at it. The aardvark returns to its burrow before sunrise and before the lion has uttered his first roars of the day. Hey! 
Fish? I really think it's us everyone's afraid of. Of course not. They're scared of the driver. Meanwhile, thousands of kilometers from the Savannah Plains, the Cobra Moth flutters carefree through the jungle. Oh, hey, that's me! This African butterfly is about to commit a fatal error. It is going to brush its large wings against the whiskers of a Bengal tiger. <laughs> have to say. Uh, no. But that means Sam and Wash might be sent far, far away. <gasps> we gotta do something. <laughs> okay, let's go, quick. Row, 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 row. Phew. That was close. This is gonna be your turn, coward! Hey, over here! Oh! The vet? What's he doing here? Maybe he's gonna stop the truck with that. Wash? I don't think he's trying to stop the truck! <laughs> I don't always agree with you, but for once, I think you're right! Quick, you're heading for the botanical garden! There they are! <laughs> Sam, hurry up! Just leave me here! Yeah. <laughs> Come on, move! We already have a bird on our team! <laughs> That's the unmistakable roar of a tiger! They can't be far! I bet Sam and Wash are in there! You stay here! I'll go! <laughs> Come on, you coward! It's up to you, Vladimir! Susie! Quick! Take off your costume! Are you nuts? The vet will send us back to the forest! The forest? With those costumes, he's gonna send you to the jungle! <laughs> Not fun for a boy and a fox! Quick! Eugenie's waiting for us! <laughs> <laughs> a fox and a wild boar? <laughs> the things you find in botanical gardens these days. Wait a sec! Those are wild animals! Shouldn't we return them to the forest? Are you kidding? We're looking for a lion and a tiger. That's a million times more exciting. Are you sure you're okay, Vladimir? It can be pretty dangerous. <laughs> Your costumes aren't in here. We're done for. Game over. <laughs> Sammy! While you guys were in the garden distracting them, I got to the truck and grabbed our disguises. All part of your plan. Right, Washington? Ah! Yeah. Hey there, guys! Did, did you see that hangry lion and that vicious tiger? Chill, guys. We scared them away. Huh? <laughs> Do you smell this? It smells like garbage. We still have bear spots on our costumes. Oh. Rats, we can't order new costumes now. Mr. L's on his computer. Hmm? 
<laughs> Hello, it's me, the bearded woman. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. Where are the pets? We're going to scare them. What in the world is that? The stash paste. The stash what? The stash oh. paste. Uh -huh. They put it everywhere. On my toys, on the pillows, and even on me. They like it a lot. Come on, let's go. Be generous. Hey, they're in the kitchen. Hello, furry. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Arf, arf. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Joker's Tunnel, a surprise obstacle awaits on the other side. How exciting! Oh, no. And the winner of the race will receive a... Year's Supply of Pet Food! A Year's Supply? You? <laughs> Please, they can't be serious. You know, I didn't really want a race. Until now! Well, I think it's time for me to fade out. That kind of partying stuff, that's really not my cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Vicky! Oh, no! Alfie! <laughs> <laughs> I see you, wild ones. You're coming back with me into the forest where you belong. Come <laughs> Ooh la la! 
So, what are you up to? Bow, bow, bow. Rock pack coming through. Victoria? Doesn't seem right. <laughs> huh? Where did the race track go? Yeah! Are you nuts? Yeah! Huh? Where are you going?
I got you! <laughs> Sam, you okay? Mm -hmm. I know you're still here, and I can smell each and every one of you. Where's the rest of the gang? You're all staying here in the wild, like real animals, where you belong. But we're too fancy for life in the wild. Huh? Ah! Hey! before he wakes up. Huh? Wait! Where's Gracie and Alfie? Mm -hmm. And Vic! Who cares? You supply a pet food, remember? Ta-ta! Wow, what a jerk! <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me! I'll go and check! I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Absolutely. You're gonna help them. <laughs> you sure? Phew! That was too close. Thanks, Vic. I never doubted you for a second. Not even for a second? Not for a single second. Vicky! Kitty! Vicky Kitty! <laughs> For me! That's ridiculous. We didn't come from over there. We came from over there. Everybody knows that cats have an excellent sense of direction. Please, you're an alley cat. As if you know which way to go. You can't even decide how to run for your life. <laughs> You shush it. We gotta dig our way out, I'm telling you. We need to start digging our way out of here. You heard me. Dig. I say we just run. Anyway, as long as we're not here. Hello, lovely. I knew you'd come back. How about we ditch these dweebs and run off to Paris? Everybody stick together and follow me! Washington! I'm coming for you! Oh, I wish we could fly! Oh, I can't fly! Uh, I found a way out! Lead the way! 
Ryan, hurry! Hurry? He's gaining on us. Washington! Hurry up, Suli! Follow me! There's a track! <laughs> They're done for. Here comes the tunnel. The kibble is mine. Huh? Sorry, I'm gonna race to win. Hey, Kitty, 
Going my way? Mm. How humiliating. But always fun. Game backwards and forward. And backwards and forward. I think I'm gonna be sick. Ooh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Guys, jump to the center where it doesn't move. Wait a second. That's not a large dog. That's a, a, a bear. bear. <laughs> <laughs> This is mine! You play dirty! Bad dog, Alvarez! Bad dog! Yeah, well sometimes bad dogs win. Here, let me show you! Sausage is definitely the worst to ever walk the earth. You did it, boy! We won! Uh, not exactly. The rules clearly state the first animal to cross the finish line wins. This year's supply of pet food goes to the goldfish. You did it! are the best. Yeah? Arf, arf, woof, arf. <laughs> woof, woof, <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Um, what are you doing? I want to bet with a squirrel. That sandwich is mine, but I gotta get to it. Yeah, um, have you thought about climbing like an actual real cat? Oh, of course. That was my plan B. Cat stuck in a tree? Now that's video gold! Oh, wait, is that Sam? Real cat. Real cat. Go, Sam! Uh, go! No, no, Sam! No! <laughs> Cut! 
<laughs> well, Sammy, you certainly earned that sandwich. And you gave me some priceless footage here. Bon appétit! <laughs> 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 Sam, we weren't laughing at you, we were laughing at the way you felt. It's different. Do we? Uh, Sam, hey, there you are. <sighs> Great. I guess you already heard that I fell out of a tree. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no, seriously, you're a natural barn comedian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah! But, Vincent, how did you... Hi, Sam. I just wanted to say congratulations on your success. I admit I'm surprised. Yeah, thanks? Wait! What is going to... <laughs> Good! You ask him now, you! Uh, Sam, can you sign an autograph for us? Huh? <laughs> we can probably sell it. We're never selling it. Yeah, uh, sure, if you want. What should I write? Uh, can you put two nugget with all my love? No! Oh, for Fluffy and Nugget! But mostly for Fluffy! <sighs> girls, girls, how about this? <laughs> Will someone please tell me what's up with Sam? Uh, what? You don't know? Uh, and G, Washington. Oh, and quick! Sam's in the computer! What? I, I'm not in the computer. I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> I get it. Mr. L shared that video of you online. It appears that tumble you took is a big hit, Sam. A star? I'm a star! Whoa! Well, for today, anyway. It must be from one of my goof tube fans. Yeah? <laughs> Gee, I don't care for one. Thanks. I love being a star. <laughs> and all you did was fall out of a tree. People have such weird taste. For once, we agree. <laughs> Excuse me, do you have an appointment? No, I was just bringing these... Uh, sorry, Sam is swamped. Lots of fan mail, you understand. He's booked up until at least tomorrow. Yeah. Well, then can you hold these until then? Complicated. I bet you hold it like this. If Sam can become a star with a stunt that stupid, just imagine what a triple jointed fox like me can do. You shoot, I perform. I don't know if I want to get involved in your wild animal games. Hmm, really? But I think of you as a director type, bossy. Hmm? Well, I am very visual. I suppose this would be easy enough. When do we start? So here's the deal. I rollerblade onto the trampoline, get shot into the air, and land on the mattress. You've told me this three times. I got it. Take one. My 
my costume. Who's gonna notice? Come on, we need to take two. <sighs> Actors. Wow, all those clicks, it's a success. People love me. <laughs> it's still increasing. the star now. Yeah, well, if you want my opinion, it's mostly thanks to the director's talent. Way to go, Wash. Hey, can we play too? Oh, yeah, we want to make a film. <laughs> You're too little to pull off something that sophisticated. We'll talk in five years. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just need to borrow this for a second, thanks. Vincent? Yes, sir? You've just been promoted to director. You're going to film me. I've always wanted to work in film. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, it will be hilarious. I guess so. In three, two, one, rolling! So he wants to play dirty. Well, now it's four! Washington! Washington! Boy, am I ever going to teach that little rat a thing or two about filmmaking. Washington! 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 <laughs> should expand your of. Agree. I need to keep it fresh. <laughs> 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 it when you hit the steel girder the first time. Right, so it's a tie. Why don't we just say we're both stars, huh? That's fine with me. I think I'm gonna take a nap. Stardom is very exhausting. There's no way we're gonna let those two losers win. I know we can outdo them. I've got tons of awesome ideas, Watch. Sam? You can't do this to me. We've got to make the third part of our trilogy. What? <laughs> what was that? Oh, look. That's our video. <laughs> you really are funny when you sleep. What? That's the internet blockbuster of the year? Oh, wait. There's not even any action. <sighs> I should have kept all the takes of Wash without his costume. It could have been huge. Gotta run. I need to seriously think about a career move. Filmmaking may not just be the right choice for me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. 
but the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguise as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We're off to the farmer's market, kiddos. No wild parties, okay? Animals throwing a party? Too much. <laughs> too, too much. <laughs> yeah! Yes! An entire costume-free afternoon to do whatever we want. Yes, like silk in a tub. And raid the fridge. And buy our toenails. Huh? Oh. You guys are gonna get so busted. No way! They'll be gone for hours! Huh? Huh? Ah! They're back! Panic! Ah! <laughs> Don't do this to me, Zipper! Not you! Not you! Can't leave without our favorite podcast! Podcast and it. Huh? Hey! Oh, that was odd. I thought cats always landed on their feet. Hey! Oh. Uh. Look, hon, he wants to shake. Roll over. Roll over, boy. <laughs> now play dead, Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Good puppy. Brilliant. Hooray. <laughs> that was close. Good thing you play a dog so well, Washington. No biggie. Just raw talent mixed with a total commitment to my craft. But whatever. No. Washington, you're like the king of domestic pets. The king of domestic pets? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Majestic Domestic. Yeah, the Majestic Domestic. Oh, that's good. I like that. Majestic Domestic? He's acting like a house pet. It's not that hard. It is for me. I can't even land on my feet. You'll get it, big guy. Just keep practicing and someday... You'll be as good as you. Well, I was going to say you'll improve, but many things possible. You'll take it. Oh, hail the Majestic Domestic! Remember, total commitment, Sam. Put your paws out and let it rip. Commit, commit, commit. Hmm, you're still holding back. Maybe if the platform was higher. Yeah. Me? A genius? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> Brother. Something to say, Vic? Me? No. I mean, you are pretty high on yourself right now, but I'll hold my tongue till you slip up and take a fall. Well, I hope you're ready to wait a while because there's nothing the Majestic Domestic can't handle. <laughs> We're home, kiddos. And there's someone we'd like you to meet. <laughs> Say hello to Petunia. <laughs> While we were at the market, we saw her in a tragically small cage. <laughs> Chicken. So, until we find her a better home, Petunia will be our guest. <laughs> Chicken. What is Washington doing? Being friendly. This book we got, How to Take Care of Chickens, says dogs and hens are natural allies. Well, if the book says so, I blindly accept it. And just look at his happy little smile. Good dog! <laughs> woof, woof, arf! Washington, you can't get out now. We're meeting our new guest. Woof! All right, all right, yes. Wow, I guess when you've got to go, you've got to go. Perfect. A free-range farm where our little chick will be happy. Great. See you soon. Bye. Good news, hon. The farmers can pick up Petunia on Saturday. Hello, Washington. How's it going with Petunia the chicken? I thought foxes couldn't resist a nice, fat, juicy chicken. And we're just natural enemies. Huh? Gee, what if you're right? What if I can't control myself? Oh, no! In case you can't tell, I was being sarcastic. 
And don't forget, I'm the majestic domestic. He's right, Vic. Back in the wild, Wash was always talking about how much she loves chickens. And now look at him. He doesn't even look at Petunia. See? He's really the majestic domestic. Oh, <laughs> hey there, Petunia. Nice to eat. Ah! I get the next hug. Washington, my slippers. Bad dog. <laughs> Go, Sam. You can do it. <laughs> commit, Sam. Commit. Commit. <laughs> Mayonnaise powder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's too hard, too oh, hard, too hard. wait a minute. <laughs> how to take care of cats and how to take care of chickens. Let's mix it up a bit. Huh? What's that? Apparently, chickens love sunbeams. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's cats. It says so right here. Never mind then. Blindly accepted. make it unless I make the full commitment. <laughs> guys, guys, what day is this? It's the day Sam finally lands on his feet. That's what day it is. Yeah, total commitment time. Make it higher, guys, higher. No, I mean, is today Saturday? <gasps> it's the farmers! Ha <laughs> ha! I made it! It's all gonna be fine now! Hello? Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone? Us farmers are up at 5 a.m. We'll have to come back next week. Let's go. No, don't. You can't. No, no, no. Uh, Washington, something wrong? Wrong? I, 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 I'm in control. Okay, then could you not act like a crazy person for a sec? Sam's about to jump. Thanks. Commit, Sam. Commit. Commit. You know, guys, I'm worried it's still not high enough. No! Get away! Get away! Stop him! You can't fight me forever! It's hopeless! Gosh, I don't understand. What's gotten into you? Foxes eat chicken, Sam! And I can't stop trying to eat Petunia! <laughs> Where is Petunia? Don't worry, she's safe. I took care of her. <laughs> I know! I'm not a domestication master! I'm a domestication monster! <laughs> I knew it! Yes! Yes! You all heard him admit it. You're my witnesses. Actually, I should have this documented and do we know any notaries? Never mind, it's just a symbolic thing, but you'll sign it, right? You have to sign it. Hey, come on, Victoria. Yeah, not nice. But guys, she's right. I'm not what I thought I was. Maybe, but you're still our friend. Thanks. <coughs> Look, the farmers haven't left yet. I told you to 
Yeah, you can't substitute orange juice for oil. Okay, okay. Let's find a gas station. Okay, it's my duty to help you, Wash. I'll find a way to restrain them until the elves wake up. Wish me luck. Good luck. For Washington. For Washington. <laughs> How's it going, furry friends? Hello. Sam? Hello. What are you doing out there, buddy? You know this cat? He's really phenomenal. He just landed on my hood from out of nowhere. Oh, yes it is. And by the way, hello. You aren't the free-range farmer, are you? Yes, we are. And by the way, we're here for the chicken you have on your head. Huh? <laughs> Guys, I just want to say thanks for sticking with me. You're welcome, I guess. As long as I don't have to hear the name Majestic Domestic ever again. Don't worry, I learned my lesson. Besides, we all know who the real hero is. The Phenomenal Feline. The, phenom the Phenomenal Feline. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. favorite dish, Mr. Livingstone's too. <laughs> come on, Mr. Livingstone, come home. Now? Now? No! <sighs> Why does Mr. Livingstone go camping anyway? In the woods. Just thinking about it makes me want to store extra calories. It's a human thing, Sam. Going camping helps him get in touch with his primitive self. Hmm? His real, like, Wild self, almost like us. It still makes no sense. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone's natural environment is in front of the TV. <laughs> so lucky. Ah, yeah. It's Mr. L. Who is that guy? Hey, everybody. Mr. Livingstone doesn't look like that. Whoa. What in the world is this new look? Are you really my husband? <laughs> you betcha, except I feel like a million bucks. How <laughs> Mr. Livingstone doesn't talk like that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is that? It's a monster! He's eating the monster! I admit, that's <laughs> terrifying. You wouldn't believe how great it feels to get back to real life. Fishing for your food, building campfires, sleeping under the stars. I'm a new man. <laughs> really? Yep. In fact, I want to start building stuff with my hands. <laughs> uh, oh, I thought you were kidding. Of course you should build things with your hands. Of course. Hmm. Are you sure it's Mr. Livingstone? It's his voice. Are you kidding? Look at his face. It's got fur stuck all over it. Uh, what about the monster that keeps coming out of his mouth? It's like Mrs. L doesn't even notice it. But the weirdest thing of all is that costume with a zipper. You guys are right. I think he's got to be an alien from outer space. Uh, what? An E.T., an extraterrestrial. Some of them prefer to be called Martian. Huh? <gasps> oh, forget it. Sometimes I forget how you guys know nothing. But I want to know. <sighs> What's an extraterrestrial? Don't know. They're not from the forest. Hello. Oh. They're from outer space. 
Yeah? Check out those weird-looking humans, Wash. Those aren't humans, Sam. Those are extraterrestrials. <laughs> Livingstone is an extra rest doll. He might steal our kibble. No! <laughs> cool it, Sam. I think Vic is trying to take us for a ride. <laughs> Those aliens look a lot like Mr. Livingstone. I think we'd better be careful. Yeah, we gotta hide the kibble. <laughs> the kibble, Sam? That's your main concern? Didn't you see the Martians carry off that adorable family dog? But you're right, Kibble must be saved. Sam, fork it over. I don't trust it under the sofa. My stomach's much safer. Morning, everybody. <laughs> What's with them? I'll feed them. They've been acting kind of distant ever since my absence. He's looking for our kibble. Or he just wants to feed us. But Mrs. L usually feeds us. Honey, where'd you put the kibble? I could have sworn we had some. For now, they can have this. What's with you guys? It's toast. <laughs> well, as you like. Sam, no, it's a trap! <laughs> Whoa, that Martian is smart. He knows I love bread. That's just proof that he knows you, Sam. It has to be Mr. Livingstone. His flying saucer? Where, pray tell, is he keeping this flying saucer? Right here. Sam, that's just the shed covered with a tarp, not a flying saucer. Ah! Seriously, what's up with them? They just want to play hide and seek. Not right now, I'm afraid. I've got some building to do. Hear that? He's working on his saucer in there. It must have gotten damaged when he landed. Okay, listen. Don't move. I'm gonna take a peek. Do you see anything? No. Yes, maybe. So what is it, huh? What is it? Is it a saucer? Yeah, I can't stand it anymore. I have to see. <laughs> What in the? <laughs> it's you. Now you want to be near me. Ah! Okay, you guys were right. That is a flying saucer and he's an alien. Run for your lives! What in the world is wrong with those guys? <sighs> What's he doing? He's communicating with his Martian friends. What's he saying to them? Probably that he couldn't find our kibble, so he's gonna bring us over dinner. <laughs> <laughs> or at least me. I'm the adorable family dog, remember? <laughs> you really think Martians are scared of wild animals, Wash? Of course they are. That's why they never come to the forest. Hey, what are you dummies doing? When I said Mr. Livingstone was a Martian, it was just a joke. That's what I thought too, Vic. Wash, 
Mr. Livingstone let his beard grow and got a new sweater on his trip. The pink stuff is called bubblegum. It's just a stage. Mm-hmm. And the flying saucer? Flying saucer? There's no flying saucer. Wash, do you realize what you're about to do? You're going to expose yourself entirely naked in front of Mr. Livingstone. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to her, Wash. The aliens have taken over her brain. Sorry, Vic. It's pretty obvious. Huh? There he is, Sam. Man your station. Honey? 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 you've been using in the shed. The fumes have gone to your head. I mean it, honey. You need some fresh air. Okay, okay. Come with me. I've got something to show you. <sighs> oh, no. We blew it. If uh... Mrs. Livingstone hadn't come home, the E.T. would have gone back to his planet. What do you think? It's... It's... A spaceship! <gasps> I knew it right from the beginning! What more proof do you need? Yeah, okay. This looks very bad. You're <laughs> really creative! And I bet your dog here is dying to go <laughs> for a ride! Washington! Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> 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 Oh, I should have taken more care about the trajectory. Hey there, handsome. I was starting to miss you. Well, hello. It's my old husband. What's wrong with you guys? One would think you saw an extraterrestrial. As usual, you guys should have listened to moi. I knew all along Martians were fake. Are you sure? Come on, everyone! Lunch time! Mmm, yummy! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. out on my best moves. Check it!
Uh, guys, what are you doing? Your humans are nowhere in sight. Oh, Washington, sometimes it's as if you live in the wild. Don't you know we're training for the Royal Kibble Dog Show? There's only posters plastered all over town. The winner gets a year's supply of Royal Kibble. What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so how do I enter the show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Impossible. What? What's the problem? Well, it's just that you are, how can I say this? You are one weird dog. What? Like when you bark, for example. Arr, arr, <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> okay, now you're just trying to make us laugh. <laughs> it hurts. You'd better go before we laugh to death. <laughs> laugh all you want, but I'm not only going to enter this show, I'm going to win this thing. Come on, guys. I found one. I found one. A poster for the Royal Kibble Dog Show. Way to go, Sam. Okay, let's take it home and put it somewhere where Mr. Livingstone will see it. Okay, Susie, we'll wait for you at home. Don't be too late. Come on, guys. Mmm, spinach nut cake. I'm off. What's going on, boy? Huh? Wait for me. Royal Kibble is hosting a dog show? Interesting. Nice job, Susie. Thank you. I couldn't let the poster win. Hey, Wash. Maybe we ought to sign you up. How'd you like to be the Royal Kibble King? <laughs> Classy stuff, Wash. You're a natural show dog. <laughs> See? I mean, who can resist that hilarious bark? Let's do this. Okay, this is getting too weird. Roll over on your hind legs. Heel. Yes, and Nice job. Touch your tongue to your nose. That a boy. Now catch. Wash we, I mean, you are going to win big today. All hail the king! <laughs> now that's a good one. <sighs> Everything looks rosier after a three-hour nap. Say, Wash, when you become the new royal kibble king, can I be your bodyguard? Wow, what? Wash, the royal kibble king? That's right, I'm doing the dog show. Uh, that is not a good idea. Oh, I know. You're still mad about that musical wake-up. No, no, Wash, that's not it. The judges, they... Vic, no negative vibes before showtime, okay? But... Sam? Get you, bud. Okay, okay, forget it. I won't say another word. Consider it. Zip. <laughs> Welcome one and all to the annual Royal Kibble Dog Show. All of our canine contestants will be judged by me, the president of Royal Kibble. But only one of them will become king. Ready to win, champ? Totally. Nothing can stop me now. Well, hello, Livingstone. Hi there, Doc. I figured I'd see you here. Washington here is competing. Why, hello, Washington. Can't wait to examine those teeth of yours. Uh, Very unusual, sharp, 
and pointy. See you soon. Uh, Doc, could you tell me the vet wants to examine my teeth? But, but what do my teeth have to do with a talent show? The key! We've got to find the key so she'll tell us! It's not just a talent show. Winning is also based on physical appearance. The vet inspects teeth, fur, claws. It's the final event only for the 10 best dogs. What? Looks don't mean anything. Right, well, I don't make the rules. You can still win, Wash, I know it. Uh, no, Sam. If the vet examines me, I'll, we'll lose everything. It's like you can't win. Yeah, no negative vibes, remember? This fox uh, dog has to perform today. Or maybe I don't. Ready, boy? Here it goes. Washington, give a paw. Well, let's start simple. Roll over. Uh, okay, we'll try again. Sit, boy. Yeah! You're the best, Wash! You can do it, Wash! He can't do it. I guess we withdraw. He's usually very obedient. I... I... Oh, no! Poor Mr. Livingstone! <laughs> Did I say I told you so? It's amazing! He's even worse than our wildest dreams! <laughs> ah, now that's my dog! Completely mad? Um, okay then. Next! No, here's a real champion for you. Well done, Wash. Now the vet is going to look you over. <laughs> Good dog. Now open your mouth wide. Come on. I'm his bodyguard. It's up to me to save him. <laughs> Just been brought to my attention that a wild boar is loose in the park. Run for your life! Phew! Sam just saved my life. But now, who's going to save Sam? Sam's been trapped! Washington is in the house! Owl! Commercial? Talk about a dream come true. Next year's contest is just around the corner. We must get funky. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. 
the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Girls want to learn to bake cookies? Maybe I'll give you a little cookie dough for a treat. Oh, yay! We're gonna make cookies! Yippee! <laughs> you may have to compete with Washington. Some fun tonight! Huh? We are? Oh, yes, we are! <laughs> It'll be fun for the whole family! You'll see! <laughs> okay, come on, tell me what it is! It's something no cat can resist! It's a laser pen! And not just any laser pen, it's the Phantom Red 3000! Let the games begin! <laughs> Come on, don't catch it! Whoops, I'm too fast for you! <laughs> what is that thing she's chasing? I don't know, but whatever it is, she really wants it. We meet again, Red Dot, but this time you will be mine! <laughs> Sam, what's wrong? <laughs> what kind of cat doesn't want to catch the dot? Did you hear that, Sam? You gotta catch that dot! But I don't care about the dot. Well, you better fake it. Fake it? <laughs> Sam, if you don't get out there and catch that dot, Mr. L is going to find out you're not really a cat. <clears throat> catch the dot. Catch the dot. Go on, champ. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Huh? I'll catch you, red dot. <laughs> Sam. I've never seen a cat with such horrible aim! <laughs> what? Stand in my way, you clumsy boar! <laughs> oh, I'm suddenly married to a big kid. He's going crazy with that toy. <laughs> Get it, Sam! Get it! By any means necessary! Out of my way! There are only winners in this family! Win, win, win! Get it, Sam! If you love this comfy life, you'll catch that dot! Red dot! Red dot! Come on, Sam, I'm with you! Come on, Sammy, you're the best! Come on, Sam! Red dot! Red dot! Must catch the red dot! <laughs> Sam, you're the clumsiest cat ever! Hmm. <laughs> 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 red dot, red dot, must catch the red dot. And... Oh, 
costs! It all costs! If I didn't know any better, I'd say he isn't faking it anymore! It all costs! It all costs! Red dot! Red dot! Red dot! Red dot! Red dot! <laughs> You don't want any of this leftover cookie dough? Huh? Oh boy! Cookie dough! Gimme, 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 gimme! Red dot, red dot, must catch the red dot at all costs! Red dot! You can do it, Chip! That dot is yours! Don't give up now! You're so close! Now listen to me! Carve into those turns when the dot takes those corners. Now, don't let Vic intimidate you. Just get right up there in front of her. Even if her claws do hurt a little. Oh yeah, and can you try not to whiz by Eugenie and Susie so much? They're pretty dizzy. I love this game. Red dot, must catch the red dot. You know you're never gonna get it, right? Dot. Wait, what? Red dot. How do you know that? Because, hello, no cat has ever caught the red dot before. Huh? The cat who finally does catch the red dot will become the enlightened feline leader. Hmm. But that is pretty much definitely no way going to be Sam. No offense, Sam, but you are definitely not a cat. <laughs> And since I'm the only cat here, that means you're going to lose. Oh! <laughs> Catch the dot! Catch the dot at all costs! Catch the dot! <laughs> huh? You really can't catch the... <laughs> 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 I think I need a timeout. Good idea. <laughs> red dot. Get the red dot. <laughs> Come on, get it, Sam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get it, Vic. <laughs> oh, boy. This has to end. I gotta talk to Sam. Uh, Sam, listen, buddy, we gotta talk. Uh, I think Vic's right. You're never gonna catch that dot. So, you should stop now. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Sam? Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Tell him, Vic. Tell him. Red dot. 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 That red stupid red dot, red dot has dot. turned this entire red household dot. upside red down. Red <laughs> stupid red dot. Making everyone crazy. Destroying everything. Stupid dot. Stupid dot that cannot <gasps> be caught. Ah, wait a minute. I need your help.
<laughs> you did it, boy! At last! You are one special cat! <laughs> oh, boys. <gasps> Look, kids, Mrs. L's cupcakes. Oh, so pretty. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Listen, ladies, if you're not staying hydrated and getting a solid 20 hours of sleep a day, you're going to show your age. Yes, Susie? Are we all? Oh, yes, good question. No, not yet, but you will one day. You want to put that off as long as possible. Why? Because, my dear naive Susie, nobody wants an old pet. Nobody. <laughs> good morning, ladies. Ah! Oh! Sam, help me out here. <laughs> ah, thanks, buddy. Sure. Oh, I had the most amazing dream. I was rolling around in a mud pit the size of a pond. It was amazing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> tell us more. Ah! <laughs> uh, what is that? Are you dying? Is this part of your face? Oh, relax. It's just a little avocado rinse to keep our coats youthful and shiny. <laughs> Tasty. Oh, I don't need that stuff. I get all my energy from a good night of howling at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you need it more than any one of us, Wash. You're like what? A billion years old? Wait, what? What, what? Look, all I know is you're super duper old. <laughs> what do you mean, super duper old? Let's look at the numbers. Tell me, how old are you? I'm, I think maybe... Well, I have no idea. We don't really do birthdays in the woods. It doesn't matter anyway, because whatever age you think you are, you're actually seven times that age. I'm guessing you're somewhere around 35, or maybe even 40, so very old. <laughs> that most certainly does not sound about right. I'm as spry as they come. If you use the word spry, then you're definitely getting up there. But just to double check. Mm -hmm. What? What is it? What do you see? Not much, just... Ah! A gray hair. That means you're almost dead. A gray hair? But that's just like... This old silver fox I used to feed. <laughs> Thanks, Sonny. Whatever. I still got it. Sure you do, Wash. Just like that old silver fox had it. Wait, so you're saying that when you get old, you lay around and people bring you food? Sign me up! Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. Oldness is really nothing to get excited about. Treat time, my furry friends! Come and get it! <laughs> we splurged and got gingery ginger snaps for <laughs> Gingery ginger snaps? Ow! Gosh, are you okay? For the 10 billionth time, I'm fine. Stop treating me like your grandpa. Come here, lean on me. No, everyone leave me alone. <laughs> oh no, Wash, let me help you up. How about one more treat, old boy? Life is short, right? Want me to chew it for you first? I'm not old, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Watch 
Chandler. was a cub. Our idea of going for a walk was a 20-mile journey uphill both ways. Come on, Alfie, let's go inside. I want to play house. I told you, I'm not playing house until we have someone to play the grandpa. When I was a kid, our idea of playing house was eating rocks. If we wanted a grandpa, we Hey, would... wait! We can get Washington to play the part. Actually, he can play our great-great-grandpa who is back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't look. It's just a sea of gray in here. What? Is everything all right? Huh? Speak up. We're worried about you. I know you all once thought of me as your spirited leader, but it's becoming clear that my aging body is letting you down. Maybe I'm no longer fit to be in this role. Maybe it's time for me to accept my elderly status and all that comes with it. But Wash, you're not elderly. When I was a cub, there was an old silver fox who lived in our den. I used to have to you chew- You told us this story. Really? About a hundred times. Well, that proves it. It's time for me to retire and go back to the woods. But we can't stay here without you, Wash. Yeah, you're our leader. You'll freeze out there. This is what old animals do. We return to nature. <sighs> I'd like to thank you all for coming to the Stop Washington from Leaving meeting. First on the agenda, how do we stop Washington from leaving? Oh, that's what's happening? I'm out of here. Wash can figure this out on his own. He's a big boy. I mean... An old boy. Well, we're off to a great start. But let's stay focused. How do we get Wash to stay? Let's tie him up! He's so stubborn, we need to go and hide and pin him down! Yeah, uh, okay. Any other suggestions? Oh, no? oh, I got it! Lock him in a closet forever? This is going to be harder than I thought. What if we set up an easy, really, really easy obstacle course for him? Then he wins it, and he thinks he's still a young pup, and he doesn't leave, and we all live happily ever after. That's actually a really good idea. Thanks. Oh, we can use spoons for hurdles. <laughs> no, we need the tinier ones. Get those decorative teaspoons. You kids, you got a new play set now that the old man's on his way out. Life's for the living. No, Wash, this is for you. Huh? If you can make it to the end of this agility course, that means you're in the prime of your life. And you won't have to go back to the woods. Huh? Hmm, of course. If I don't make it to the end, I'll have no choice but to return to nature. Of course. Only respectable thing. And go!
didn't really want to go to the woods, having someone chew your food for you is no life at all. Start the stopwatch. They weren't even real rocks. Good try, everyone. Victoria, lead my friends well. Oops. I'm a little competitive. Wash, I'm so sorry. You're not an old man. And those balloons, I mean, rocks, I mean, I have really sharp claws. I could pop a rock. It's okay, Victoria. You don't have to pretend. I'm an old guy. It's time for me to say goodbye. <gasps> don't follow me. Let me go with dignity. <laughs> I guess this is as good as it's going to be from now on. Surprise! <laughs> Happy birthday, Wash! For however old you are. You guys came all the way out here to give this to me? You didn't really make it that far. Well, I was a bit tired, you know. Uh, but tell me, how did you know it was my birthday? We don't celebrate those back in the woods. We didn't have a clue. We just decided to celebrate the first day of your new life. You maybe want to blow out your candles? Candles, right? That's what you do when you celebrate a birthday. You okay, Wash? He's more than okay. Your gray hair is gone. You look like a brand new cub again. Well, you look at that. I guess my days aren't numbered after all. Does that mean you'll come back home with us? Only if I can get more of those gingery ginger snaps. Yay! Yay! You don't need that thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, watch it! Oh. Oops, sorry. It's okay, Grandma. I'll give you a hand. Grandma? I'm not a grandma. <laughs> <laughs>